closed captioning of 13 News at 5, 5.30 and 6 is sponsored by Dodge. Grab life by the horns. Dodge. Across America tonight, a disturbing discovery at the Coast Guard Academy in New London, Connecticut. An African-American cadet says he found a noose inside a bag belonging to him. Shortly after that incident, a white instructor said she found a noose on the floor of her office. There are no suspects in either of the incidents, and the academy superintendent is outraged. 14% of the cadets are minority students, and 20% are women. And on the West Coast, the Navy is making change to a building that looks like a swastika from the air. The barracks is located in Coronado, California. Navy officials say they noticed the shape shortly after groundbreaking in the late 1960s, but decided not to change it. Now, more people are considering offensive after seeing it on Google Earth. The Navy plans to spend about $600,000 to change the offensive shape. Up next, new worries for dog owners after another local park is watched for possible parvo infections. David Allen and the 13 News team are standing by with that story and more right now on 13 News at 530. New at 530, new concerns for pet owners. For the second time in a week, parvo is linked to a popular Virginia Beach park. A few days ago, it was Red Wing Dog Park. Now officials say pet owners who brought their dogs to Mount Trashmore recently may want to get them tested for the disease. 13 News investigator Wayne Carter is live for us tonight at Mount Trashmore. And Wayne, unlike Red Wing, Mount Trashmore is still open. That's right, David. It is still open. No closures out here. And when you first drive up, you really don't see any signs that anything's wrong. Many of the people we ran into out here had no idea about this warning. It's a question we posed to city officials who then said they did put up a sign, but it's way back there in that concession stand area. Many people just didn't see it. I like my kids. So. Kelly Alexander yeah, took her dogs, see. Ada and Zoe, on a high-powered walk through Mount Trashmore this afternoon with no idea the city believes there's a risk for the highly contagious Parvo virus. A little bit, yeah. It'd be nice to have a little warning. Alexander says she saw no signs, nothing to warn her the virus may exist here, but she thinks her dogs will be okay. We keep our dogs pretty good shape, take them to bed. I mean, we take care of our dogs, so not too worried about them. Good job. Dr. Chris Emrick says that's the best defense Good. against Parvo. The virus lives in fecal matter and gets passed along when one dog does the do and another comes to the same spot. Dogs can come along and then where another dog is defecated and spread that virus into the ground, they come along, they sniff the grass, lick it, eat a little bit of it, and the next thing you know, they come down with it. That's what concerns Stephen Fat. He walked his dogs here every day since the 15th. That's the day city leaders say the Parvo-infected dog visited the Kids Cove section of the park. We come here every day, and this doesn't seem to be a problem. Since I talked to you, I didn't even know about this. And as late as 5 o'clock tonight, still no signs put up out here for something that the city posted on their own website at 9.15 this morning. But these dog walkers were left with no clue. Now they say they'll change their daily routine. All right, well, actually, there were sides out here. Didn't mean to fib to you, but in fact, we just couldn't find them until we had to ask city leaders specifically where they were. We've been letting people know about this. Many people still walking their dogs without the, the information. Again, the vets say most likely your dogs will be safe as long as they've had the proper vaccinations. If you haven't had your dog vaccinated, you may not want to bring it out here until you get that done. That's the latest Live in the Beach tonight. Wayne Carter, 13 News. We're also following new information involving Blackwater USA. The company's already under scrutiny for a September 16th incident in Iraq that left 11 people dead. And tonight, the private security company is under fire once again. A congressional report is raising issues about a high-profile incident in Fallujah in 2004. 13 News military reporter Mike Gooding joins me now here in the newsroom with details on this. Mike. Well, David, that was quite a flashpoint in this Iraq war. Americans remember all too well the horrific in incident, uh, horrific images from that March 2004 day when a mob of Iraqi insurgents mutilated the bodies of four Blackwater contractors and hung their corpses from a bridge. Now, a congressional report faults the company. Moyoc, North Carolina-based Blackwater USA triggered a major battle in the Iraq War by sending an unprepared and overmatched security team into an insurgent stronghold, leading to the security guards' deaths and a violent response by U.S. forces. That word today from a congressional investigation which determined that Blackwater was at fault on numerous levels in the notorious 2004 Fallujah ambush.
According to the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, Blackwater ignored multiple warnings about the dangers of traveling through Fallujah, cut essential personnel from the mission, and failed to supply its team with armored vehicles, machine guns, sufficient threat intelligence, or even maps of the region. The report also says Blackwater consistently delayed and impeded the committee's investigation, erroneously claiming that relevant documents were classified. In Blackwater's case, time and time again, they shoot first and ask questions later. Katie Helvenston Wettengel, whose former Navy SEAL son Scott was one of the four contractors killed that day in Fallujah, has sued Blackwater. She was in Norfolk to attend a book signing by Blackwater critic Jeremy Scahill. He calls the company the world's most powerful mercenary army. That we have an unaccountable army of mercenaries in Iraq right now that have turned that country into a wild west atmosphere. Now, oftentimes, Blackwater does not comment, but today they did in a statement. Blackwater spokeswoman Ann Terrell called the report a one-sided version of a tragic incident. She said the committee does indeed have documents that show that Blackwater's team was, quote, betrayed and steered into what she called a well-planned ambush. The next week, Blackwater's founder, Eric Prince, is scheduled to testify before this very same House Oversight and Government Reform Committee that produced today's Fallujah report. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News. The Army wants to spend nearly $3 billion extra to speed up the expansion of its active duty force. The service is stretched thin by wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Accelerated growth would mean faster recruiting and increasing the number of soldiers who re-enlist. Defense Secretary Robert Gates says he supports the plan, but he says he will not allow the Army to lower the standards for potential recruits. Some strong leads tonight in the search for a missing Chicago woman. Police have found a body in a forest preserve close to where 28-year-old Naila Franklin's car was found. There's been no official ID of the body, but Franklin's family says police told them it's her. The woman disappeared eight days ago, shortly after she told police she was getting threatening phone calls from a man she had dated. Police have interviewed that man, but haven't named him as a suspect. The White House sends a message to the Southeast Asian nation of Niama for the brutal crackdowns on protesters. The U.S. is imposing economic sanctions on the nation. It's believed nine people, some of them monks, have been killed during protests against the military-run government. Police have used water cannons and other weapons against the protesters. This is the largest challenge to the government since a failed uprising in 1998, which caused 3,000 deaths. One of the teens in the Gina 6 case will see his day in juvenile court, after all. The district attorney says he's decided to drop an appeal of a court ruling that set aside 17-year-old Michael Bell's second-degree battery conviction. Bell was tried as an adult in the case. The state appeals court said that was a mistake. The DA in Gina says he decided to stop fighting the ruling after talking to the governor, legal experts, and the victim. While I believe that a review would have merit in this very unsettled area of the law, I also believe that it is in the best interest of the victim and his family not to delay this matter any further and to move it toward a conclusion. More than 15,000 people marched in Gina last week to protest how authorities handled this case. Can you reduce global warming without hurting the economy? That's the challenge proposed by Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice at a climate change forum today. Rice says the world needs to tackle global warming for the welfare of future generations. Let us approach climate change not simply as a looming future threat, but as a present opportunity to work together. A chance to design a better and more sustainable approach to fuel human development. A chance to lift millions of people out of poverty and into the promise of the global economy. And a chance to protect and preserve our natural world. The two-day meeting will look at new ways to cut global warming, but won't be setting any firm goals. The war in Iraq continues to be a hot topic in the race for the White House. The Democratic frontrunners refuse to be pinned down on whether they'll bring all the combat troops home from Iraq in four years. 13 News reporter T.J. Winnick is in Washington with a look at who took the heat in last night's Democratic debate. Democrats all across the country. Wednesday night in New Hampshire, her Democratic opponents took aim at Senator Hillary Clinton, leading by 23 points in the Granite State, according to a recent poll. I heard Senator Clinton say on Sunday that she wants to continue combat missions in Iraq. To me, that's a continuation of the war. I said there may be a continuing counterterrorism mission, 
which, if it still exists, will be aimed at al-Qaeda in Iraq. At the debate on the campus of Dartmouth College, Senator Joe Biden called Clinton too polarizing to be president. There's a lot of very good things that come with all the great things that President Clinton did. But there's also a lot of the old stuff that comes back. It's kind of hard. When I say old stuff, I'm referring to policy. Leading in fundraising but trailing in the polls, Senator Barack Obama also attacked after Clinton described her initial pursuit of universal health care back in the 1990s as a lonely fight. Part of the reason it was lonely, Hillary, was because you closed the door to a lot of potential allies in that process. At that time, 80% of Americans already wanted universal health care. The New York senator said she wouldn't approve torturing a suspected terrorist to prevent the detonation of a nuclear bomb. She was then told her husband once suggested it might be appropriate. Well, he's not standing here right now. So there is a disagreement. Well, I'll talk to him later. <laughs> Right now, the New Hampshire primary is scheduled for January 22nd, but that's expected to change as other states jockey for early voting position in the campaign. T.J. Winnick, ABC News, Washington. Getting an after-school job is a great way for teens to earn some extra cash, but it may also put them at risk for one important health concern coming up, the risky behavior that could threaten your working teen. Also, trauma for a transplant patient after he gets word the bone he received was not donated at all. But stolen. And we don't have a lot of showers out there, but definitely some on the way for at least a few areas. We're tracking one or two out there right now, more later tonight, and I'll let you know about a few maybe tomorrow as well. Owning your own home, it's the American dream. But what if you're having trouble keeping up with your mortgage? There are companies out there promising to help, but homeowners, beware. You could end up losing it all. Find out how the latest foreclosure scam works tonight on World News with Charles Gibson. I'm your sister. He's gone? So this is it. Grey's Anatomy season premiere. Tonight, 9, 8 central. Part of premiere week on ABC. Start here. After searching the world's greatest automobiles, I think you'll find the one that deserves to reside in your driveway will be one from Charles Barker Automotive. Possibly the best automotive value on earth. A Toyota, Lexus, Scion, or Infiniti from one of our dealerships gives you the security and the peace of mind that you've made the right choice. I am proud to put my name on them. Charles Barker Automotive, delivering great car buying and service experiences every day. Newport News and Virginia Beach. takes one scoop. Scoop away. One scoop. Done. This is beautiful. What were we thinking? They just bought a sofa somewhere else. For the same price at Room Store, they could have owned an entire living room. So much style. So well made. Why didn't we shop here first? Oh, we were young and foolish then. It was last week. Find the very room you want at a very room store price. We put it all together, save you more room store. Waiting for the best deal of the year? Then don't miss the all-out sellout going on now at Kim Knock Ford. We're going all out to sell out all remaining 2007 Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs all at the lowest prices of the year. Right now, all 07s are slashed up to 5,000 below invoice. You heard right, up to $5,000 below invoice. So hurry, when they're gone, they're gone. Kim Knock Ford's all out sellout. It doesn't get any better than this. The loss in, in blood, the Americans who are killed every month. How much longer do you think this military commitment is going to require? Both long-term, the investment that we're making today will be a small price. Small price. Small price. Tell Representative Thelma Drake to condemn John Boehner's remarks and vote to end the war. Value City, where you get 30 to 70% off department store prices. You gotta see the V. Value City. 
More generic drugs are being offered at deep discounts at Walmart stores. The world's largest retailer has expanded its $4 generic drug program. They've added 30 prescriptions for conditions including glaucoma, attention deficit disorder, ADHD, fungal infections, and acne. The company also added two birth control drugs and one fertility drug for $9. Topping our medical headlines tonight, a warning for women. Researchers are looking at a potential link between alcohol and breast cancer. 13 News medical editor Catherine Baird joins me now with more on this story. Not really good news for people who have just maybe one drink a day, maybe two. Researchers say women who have just one or two drinks a day increase their risk of breast cancer by perhaps 10 percent. And their study shows it doesn't matter if it's beer, wine, or liquor. One cancer expert calls the study a hugely underestimated risk factor as far as the alcohol. Previous studies have shown a link between alcohol consumption and breast cancer, but you know there have been conflicting messages about the effects of different kinds of alcohol. The findings were released today during a meeting of the European Cancer Organization, but women who had one or two drinks a day increased their risk by 10 percent, more than three drinks a day, 30 percent. The lead researcher says it's more evidence on why heavy drinkers should quit or at least cut down. Also, teenagers who work, they pick up a paycheck, that's nice, but they may be more likely to pick up a bad habit too, smoking. But more than half of American teenagers hold down a regular job, at least part-time. A new study finds teens who work longer hours may be at higher risk for smoking. Researchers followed nearly 800 children from the first grade into high school. They found that teens who worked more than 10 hours a week were three times more likely to smoke than their non-working peers. However, some job experience may actually help protect teens from smoking. In an odd twist, those who worked fewer than 10 hours per week tended to smoke less. The researchers say that young people often, most often work in restaurants or in retail jobs, so efforts to keep these businesses smoke-free could help curtail teen smoking. Live in the newsroom, Katherine Barrett, 13 News. Well, there's a slowdown at the beach. That's Newtown and Woodchuck Roads, 264 East uh, and Westbound. Left shoulder, that's where the accident is or the breakdown is right now. So it's really not causing that much of a problem. Now, if you're headed out using the HRBT, you're going to find this backed up just around King Street. In fact, let's go straight to our cameras. I want to show you what's going on just in that area. As I mentioned, it's quite slow there. This is around Settler's Landing, but again, it does back up to King. Benita Adams, 13 News. All right, if you're looking for some of that cooler fall weather, some is coming. Yeah, it's just around the corner. I mean, high temperature 75 on Saturday, for example. Okay. That's going to be a little cool. But when you figure most of the days in the 60s with a stiff breeze out of the north, it's going to feel like the 50s for most of Saturday and even Sunday, for that matter. The big news right now, the rain. We had a quarter of an inch almost at the airport today. A few other spots have had some heavier downpours. Now we're looking for more because we certainly need it. And there's a little bit out there, at least across parts of the viewing area, but there's not much. While it does come down fairly heavily under some of these cells, they are very brief. The one, for example, that's approaching Smithfield right over Isle of Wight, moving sort of north or north-northeast. That has definitely a couple of times, or if you're driving through it, you're going to be hard-pressed to see more than a few hundred yards ahead of you. But again, it only lasts a couple of minutes. Another one down over Windsor on the wider view. There is a little more out there. So let's talk about that because we've had some heavy rain at times today across eastern North Carolina, certainly more than we've had here locally. Also some severe weather out in the mountains of Virginia and West Virginia, right along the border, but that's heading northeast. So all we can expect through this evening is just a little bit of that activity that you can see around eastern North Carolina. One or two of those cells are gonna try to move through. Temperatures right now, 79 on the south side, 81 on the peninsula. Winds out of the south and the southeast. The tropics very active. We gave you the details on Lorenzo, the new storm in the Gulf. And then, of course, we've been talking about that. It was Tropical Depression 13. And Karen also, we gave you the exact coordinates on that at 5 o'clock. And we'll do so again at 6. Wanted to show you this shot because remember the stuff that was over Florida that we were talking about yesterday that I said would sort of run up along the east coast and maybe just barely graze us? Well, that's what we have out there right now. The rest of the tropics looking pretty tranquil. High today, 80 degrees, a little above normal and quite a bit below what we saw yesterday when we got to 91. Tonight, down to about 69, a few showers around. Tomorrow morning 
or at least the middle part of the day into the early afternoon. A few more isolated showers, maybe an isolated storm. Highs topping out around 83. And then, as I mentioned, 76 on Saturday, but that's the afternoon high. So most of the morning and midday will be in the 60s. And with the wind off the water, it's going to feel more like the 50s. So definitely some cool autumnal-like weather for Saturday and Sunday. That's the latest live from the 13 News Weather Lab. All right, we've got a bizarre story out of Dallas, Texas. Officials say a bone stolen from a cadaver was implanted in the neck of an unsuspecting patient. 13 News reporter Chris Hawes has more on the investigation, the victim, and the legal fallout. Jim Livingston endured a herniated disc in his neck for nearly a year. Even walking caused great pain. I thought I was having a heart attack. It hurt so bad. In 2005, his surgeon in Fort Worth removed the disc and replaced it with a small bone from a donor. So I considered the surgery very successful. Then last year, Livingston got a disturbing call from here at the hospital. Doctors believe the bone in his neck was stolen. According to investigators, a company, Biomedical Tissue Services, paid off funeral home directors to allow them to harvest bone and tissue from bodies inside the funeral homes without the grieving families ever finding out. According to the FDA, BTS supplied the tissue to five other firms. The Food and Drug Administration got involved, publicizing a voluntary recall of the unused tissue citing concerns over the donor's medical histories. It was very surreal at first. Uh, uh, using the term recall, I asked them if they wanted the bone back, which I knew wasn't really an option as it's grafted into my other neck bones. But uh, Do you feel bad for your donor knowing that he didn't sign the donor card? Yes, I mean, uh, and his family. I mean, they may not even know that happened to him. Livingston is now suing Biomedical Tissue Services and the companies that supplied the bone to his surgeon hoping to force stricter safeguards and the release of his donor's records. Although donations are sterilized to kill any diseases, Livingston says he will not rest easy until he knows what caused the death of his unwilling donor. Just ahead from the newsroom, police say a little girl in this surveillance video is a thief, what she reportedly stole, and why investigators are looking for the adult in this footage. Coming up. And tonight at 6, a case of TB discovered at a Virginia Beach school. Details coming up in a live report. Also, another local football store has a run-in with the law. Why Dexter Reed is spending the night in the Chesapeake Jail. This weather segment is brought to you by Dodge. Owning your own home, it's the American dream. But what if you're having trouble keeping up with your mortgage? There are companies out there promising to help. But homeowners, beware. You could end up losing it all. Find out how the latest foreclosure scam works tonight on World News with Charles Gibson. Desmond, the doctor will see you now. It's fruit crepe fever. Sweet cream cheese, luscious fruit, and delectable crepe. Served with all your favorites only at IHOP. Come hungry, leave happy. Call in, carry out. IHOP and go. The first NASCAR stock car to reach 200 miles per hour. The first minivan. And now, Dodge introduces the industry's first lifetime powertrain warranty. It's the best warranty in the business. And no other car company matches it. So come check out the best lineup of Dodge vehicles ever with our exclusive lifetime warranty. Now, well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months on Durango, Dakota, and Grand Caravan. It's Cox Communications Half Price Sales Event. Now through this Saturday only. Get Cox High Speed Internet, Cox Digital Telephone, or Cox Digital Cable. Each half price for three months. The clock is ticking. Through this Saturday only, get any Cox product half price for three months, including free Fast Connect. Hurry, this offer ends Saturday. To order, call 757 609 3969. Operators are taking calls till 10 tonight. Look at this, Dad. I'm looking. Is this cool or what? Yeah, real cool. Hey, how have hey, you been? Hey, John. Mike's getting his license soon, so I right. thought we'd start looking for a car, but I don't want to spend a lot. Ah, gotcha. Hey, Mike, I have this great pre-owned car right over here. You've got to see it. All right. Come on. At Hall, our people are dedicated to making your auto buying experience a realistic one. Honest, reliable, and accommodating. Is this cool or what? Very cool. Hall Automotive. More cars, great people. 
tasty, authentic Italian flavors of Papa John's two new Tuscan pizzas. Our new thin crust six cheese pizza, loaded with a rich blend of six Italian cheeses. And our new Roma meats pizza with Italian salami, classic Italian sausage, and fresh sliced Roma tomatoes. Two new large Tuscan pizzas, both of great value at just $11.99 each. Try one today. Try the other tomorrow. Call or click PapaJohns.com. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. The survival of the Greenbacks is a daily challenge. This one was overspent. They're at risk of becoming extinct. But you can help right now during Kia's Save the Greenback sales event. You save a lot of Greenbacks with Kia, like the fuel-efficient Spectra. With its impressive safety rating, you and your Greenbacks are more protected than ever. Together, we can save the Greenbacks. Hurry and get 2.9% APR financing on the Spectra. Real-time closed captioning of 13 News at 5, 5.30 and 6 is sponsored by Dodge. Grab life by the horns. Dodge. Okay. News from across America. Officials in California believe a stolen car started a fast-moving fire. The fire torched more than 100 acres near Palm Springs. Police found a Dodge Charger reported stolen this week, charred in a field nearby. No homes were ever in danger, but authorities are looking for some car thieves behind the fire. Authorities in New Jersey say a little girl was caught on camera stealing, and an adult appears to be teaching her how to do it. This is surveillance video from inside Lucky Leo's video arcade on the Seaside Heights boardwalk. The sheriff's department says it's trying to enhance the video so they can ID the adult. And in South Florida, a man walking his dog comes face to face with a 12-foot long boa constrictor. Linus sniffed out the serpent and park rangers were able to round it up without anyone getting hurt. The snake was later taken to a wildlife care center. Next on 13 News, another local NFL star finds himself in trouble with the law. Find out what charges Dexter Reed is facing tonight. And Newport News police say common sense could prevent your car from being the target of a theft. More on their warning next. We went around swapping people's vehicles for one week. We didn't tell them we were from Ford. We told them it was market research. I'm here today to swap out my Chevy Silverado for a Ford F-150. Seems like it's got the power and the torque to pull what I need to pull. The actual comfort of the ride itself was really impressive. I started getting into this vehicle more than my own truck. Now swap your ride for an 07 F-150 Super Crew and save up to $3,500 or choose 0% financing for 60 months. See your local Ford dealer today. Cook dinner. I don't think so. I'm a worker bee, a chauffeur, and a referee. My family is real important, but I'm stretched. I want them fed right. That's why I let Hardee's do the cooking. Fresh chicken, real fixings made from scratch biscuits. My family thinks I'm a good mom. And with eight pieces, only $6.99, I am. Go ahead and look. You won't find a better deal. Or mom. Anywhere. Hello, honey. Yes, I know Willis Furniture is delivering the chairs. Furniture delivery can be sketchy. Honey, when is furniture delivery ever on time? You don't know when it will get there. Look, I'll be ready. Okay, bye. Most stores don't even deliver their own furniture. With Willis Furniture red carpet delivery, we guarantee on-time <laughs> delivery. So be ready. Willis Furniture. Fine furniture, casual prices. 30 years in the making, a legendary vehicle. Introducing the eighth generation, Honda Accord. Your Hampton Roads Honda dealers announce Honda's 2008 premiere. Featuring the all new 2008 Honda lineup. Come in today for special premiere sale prices and payments. Plus monumental clearance savings on all remaining 07 Hondas. Catch it at your Hampton Roads Honda dealers now. WBEC TV 13 is part of Belo. From coast to coast, Belo Media Company share the highest standards of journalism and community service. Listed on the New York Stock Exchange as BLC. Park it. Let's make this happen. Come on, hey. What you doing on my field? You got a lot of old equipment. Yeah, but it all works. Well, today's your lucky day. It is? It is. We're giving you a Toyota clearance makeover. During clearance time, get 500 cash back on tough Tacomas or choose a clearance Tundra with up to 3,000 cash back or 0% financing for five years. All new equipment and looking real succulent. We're going to keep spreading the word. Thank you, Toyota. 
Come and explore a place where every home is a castle at this year's Homerama at Edinburgh Meadows in Chesapeake. You can tour 17 fully decorated and landscaped homes, many valued at over $1 million. Plus, see demonstrations and exhibits designed to entertain the entire family. Every home is a castle at Tidewater Builders Association's Homerama, presented by BB&T at Edinburgh Meadows in Chesapeake. You're watching the most watched news at 6. 13 News starts right now. Good evening, I'm Regina Mobley. And I'm David Allen. We begin with breaking news tonight in Virginia Beach. Major health concerns at a Virginia Beach high school. Officials are investigating an active case of tuberculosis at Salem High School. 13 News reporter Andrea Borba is live at the school tonight. Health officials say the patient had contact with students and teachers. That's correct, Regina. Health officials won't confirm whether or not this person was actually a student or a teacher or a staff member at this point. And it's not just Salem High School, it's also the Virginia Beach Technical and Career Education Center. The case was confirmed this week. The health department didn't say when they had suspected this case had got online in the first place. They are looking at persons in close contact, including teachers and students. They're considering those people to be at risk at this hour. They mailed out letters to some 200 people today, both from Salem High School as well as the Virginia Beach Technical and Career Education Centers. The health department has scheduled skin test clinics next week at both schools. Those start on Tuesday and results will be given Thursday and Friday. We're live in Virginia Beach with the latest tonight. Andrea Borba, 13 News. Tuberculosis is contagious, but it is not easy to contract. We know a lot of parents, teachers, and students probably have some questions about this disease. Here to give us some perspective on tuberculosis is our medical editor, Katherine Barrett. Should folks be concerned tonight? Well, you know, anytime there's an uh, infectious disease near our children, of course, parents are concerned. But here's the thing about tuberculosis. It is spread person to person, but it is not easily spread. Unlike meningitis and other viral complications, which is spread by sharing, drinking glasses, things like that, TB is not. That's because it takes close contact over long periods of time for the bacteria that causes TB to spread. Okay, so what is close contact? Generally, close contact is considered to be within a couple of feet of the infected person for a long time. To test for it, doctors use a skin test to see if someone has TB. Nurses take a small amount of the protein from the TB germ and inject it into the skin in your arm to see if the body reacts. If the test is positive, if there's an inflammation at that spot, that site of the test, well, that will show and that will be checked within 48 to 72 hours. Symptoms of TB, we're getting ahead of ourselves here, but symptoms include a persistent cough, Weakness, weight loss, possibly a higher than normal fever, coughing up blood, night sweats, and chills. It is extremely rare these days to die from TB because when diagnosed, it is completely treatable. Not to complicate things, just because you test positive for TB doesn't mean you have the illness. You may be a carrier, but not sick. With either stage, there is treatment. Catherine Bear, 13 News. More legal trouble for a local football player, and it's not Michael Vick. Chesapeake Police have charged Dexter Reed with possessing an illegal weapon after a loaded semi-automatic rifle was found in his car. Reed is a former member of the Super Bowl champion Indianapolis Colts. 13 News reporter Shannon Sims first broke the story on WVEC.com. She joins us now live with more. Now, Regina, Dexter Reed may have avoided all of this had he not decided to blatantly park in between two handicapped parking spaces. It appears breaking for a quick bite at Chick-fil-A, but NFL superstar Dexter Reed in some serious trouble with the law. This afternoon, Reed's car was illegally parked in a handicapped spot at the fast food restaurant. Officers ran a background check and discovered Reed had an outstanding weapons violation in Virginia Beach. We gave him a couple of options as to what he wanted to do. We could either tow the vehicle or he could have someone come and move it for him. He agreed to have officers move his car. But he forgot to mention one thing. They observed a handgun underneath um, a DHL envelope that was covering it. Authorities say they also found a loaded AK-47 in the trunk. That's when police arrested the two-time Super Bowl champ for possession of two concealed weapons. Meanwhile, the Granby High School grad is due back in court next month on gun and drug charges in Virginia Beach. He also has pending gun charges in Mecklenburg County.
Now, his bond was denied this tonight, and so he remains behind bars this evening. Reporting live in Chesapeake, Shannon Sims, 13 News. Six Norfolk teens charged in the beating of another teen faced a judge today. The teens were arraigned this morning on misdemeanor assault charge of beating by mob. A juvenile court judge gave strict instructions to the teens to be on their best behavior until their trial date in October. All of them were released to their parents. If the teens violate any part of the judge's order, they could be placed into detention until their next court date. An update now in the case of a mentally retarded man on death row. The Virginia Supreme Court has refused to hear the appeal for Daryl Atkins. Atkins was convicted and sentenced to death for the murder of Langley Airman Eric Nesbitt back in 1996. The case now goes back to York County for trial. The trial is to determine if Atkins is mentally retarded, a finding that would determine whether he will be executed. In 2002, the Atkins case set the precedent that executing mentally retarded people was unconstitutionally cruel. The Navy says it will make fighter pilots ready for war. Homeowners worry it will make eardrum shattering noise. The Navy went to Currituck County today to answer questions about a proposed outlying landing field, or OLF. There are 22 possible OLF sites under consideration, one of them in Camden County at the border with Currituck. People living close to the site are concerned a quiet night's sleep would become a rare luxury. Some counties have passed resolutions opposing an OLF. In Currituck, commissioners are not yet taking sides. Um, so I support them. It's just what the residents that are already there, you know, they came before. That's my concern. The Navy says an OLF would bring 52 jobs, create nearly $3 million in salaries, and keep flying time before 10 p.m. A highly contagious disease, dog disease, strikes another Virginia Beach park. Still ahead on 13 News at 6, find out what park dog owners are being warned about and what symptoms to look out for. Plus, the U.S. Navy unveils a new ship designed to keep the military going and going and going in the war on terror. And a couple of showers we were tracking actually starting to die out here locally, but I think there will be a few more. I'll let you know when. Enjoy 31 blocks of fantastic fun during the 34th Annual Neptune Festival Boardwalk Weekend. The Neptune Festival is three days of great music, fantastic food, art, an oceanfront parade, the most amazing sand sculptures in the world, fireworks, plus surfing, kids' activities, and more for a weekend of fun the entire family will love. It's the 34th Annual Neptune Festival Boardwalk Weekend, September 28th through the 30th at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Sponsored by these fine sponsors and 13 News, the spirit of Hampton Roads. What's nice about GEICO is, doesn't matter whether you call them up or pop into the local office, you get low rates and great service either way. Although, if you want GEICO's world-famous biscuits and gravy, you'll need to stop by the office, so... <laughs> of course they don't have biscuits and gravy. But if they did, I bet everyone would eat it. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oi. Oi, you can't park there. You've never driven anything like it. The Nissan Murano. Seamless, efficient acceleration from its CVT transmission. You've never seen anything like it. SUV versatility. Five-star safety rating. One beautiful package. Lease the Nissan Murano for just $249 a month. Feel it. See it. Believe it. At your Nissan dealer now. Countdown is on when the most powerful sport on earth returns to Richmond for the Torco Racing Fuels NHRA Nationals. Every ticket's a pit pass, every driver accessible, and every run spectacular. Call now for tickets. NHRA Power 8 Drag Racing. Experience the power. Redesigned inside and out, the new Mazda Tribute has it all. A fuel-efficient 2.3-liter engine. Front leg room that beats the Honda CRV and over 66 cubic feet of cargo space. But even with all that, our most popular feature zoom, zoom, zoom. is fun. During Mazda's Tribute Tailgate Sales Event, get $2,000 cash back on an 08 Mazda Tribute SUV. Discover a better way. The Zoom Zoom way. 
You have questions. 13 specialists have the answers. Only on WVEC.com. For the second time, a highly contagious disease among dogs has hit a Virginia Beach park. A dog that visited Mount Trashmore has tested positive for Parvo. Last week, the disease hit Red Wing Park. 13 News investigator Wayne Carter joins us now live from Mount Trashmore. Wayne, a warning tonight for dog owners who brought their dog to the park. That's right, Regina. It is a warning that came out today from the city, letting people know that if you've brought your dog here from September 15th to the present, there's a chance that it may have contracted this virus. We took some pictures out here a little earlier today because as soon as we drove up, we found people actually walking their dogs out here who had no idea that this warning had been issued. The city had put out a notice on their website today, put up a couple of signs and a few inconspicuous spots here at the park and a lot of people just didn't realize we talked to some folks about this including a veterinarian who says that this disease is very contagious and should be taken seriously dogs can come along and then where another dog is defecated and spread that virus into the ground they come along they sniff the grass lick it eat a little bit of it and the next thing you know they come down with it it is certainly something that people should be concerned about anytime you have a dog that can, can come out here and may have come in contact with that same area of land where the infected dog was, there's a chance that they can get sick. We're told that the best line of defense for your animals is to make sure that their vaccinations are up to date. Got a puppy who's still getting its series of shots. Definitely not good to bring them out here from out trash war for quite some time. We're told that this virus could last out here anywhere from six months to a year. But if your dog is fully vaccinated, the veterinarian we talked to says he believes they should be okay. That's the latest live from the beach tonight. Wayne Carter, 13 News. And dog owners who have recently visited to the park should contact their vets, especially if their dogs exhibit any of the parvo symptoms. We're talking about fatigue, loss of appetite, fever, and vomiting. The Red Wing Dog Park is being sanitized and will be ready to reopen on Monday. Still ahead on 13 News at 6. The newest ship in the military sea lift commands fleet. I'm Mike Gooding on the Chesapeake Bay. That story coming up. And parts of the area saw a little bit of rain today. Is more wet weather on the way? Chief Meteorologist Jeff Lawson has your full forecast next. This weather segment is brought to you by Dodge. Desmond, the doctor will see you now. It's fruit crepe fever. Sweet cream cheese, luscious fruit, and delectable crepe. Served with all your favorites only at IHOP. Come hungry, leave happy. Call in, carry out. IHOP and go. The Dodge Model Year-End Clearance Tent Event is here. The perfect time to grab life in the Dodge vehicle you've always wanted to get the best warranty in the business. On the all-new Nitro and Grand Caravan with stow-and-go seating and storage. Plus, get some of our best offers of the year. Well-qualified buyers can get 0% APR financing for 72 months on Grand Caravan. Or up to $6,000 cash allowance. Add that to the best warranty in the business, our exclusive lifetime powertrain warranty. And that's an offer no one else matches. Hurry, the Dodge Model Year-End Clearance Tent Event ends soon. Why am I voting for Senator Nick Raris? Let me show you. Nick's keeping us safe by passing tougher drunk driver penalties and supporting new laws against illegal immigration. Nick's helping working families and seniors make ends meet. He sponsored a cap on property tax increases. Nick Raris truly cares about people. He's a great husband, father, and one terrific senator. How do I know? Because he's my husband. I'm a single mom, and I work really hard, but I don't make enough to afford health insurance for my children. Famous helped me do that. With Famous, my children are covered by the best hospitals and the best doctors, just like anyone else. And the process was so easy. Famous can help you too. You can afford health care for your children. Call 1-866-87-FAMOUS or apply online. Your personal information is confidential. Your children get the care they need. Famous works. We're proof. Every radio station has a huge music library. We actually play ours. 93.7 Bob FM. We play anything. Three seven Bob FM. All your favorite songs, all on one station. Turning out to Bob, y'all. 
Are you a homeowner looking to lower your monthly payment? I'm Doug Roberts, and I can help. It's essential to work with an effective loan officer to guide you through these changing times. Call Doug Roberts Mortgage Specialist, a proven, reliable professional. After searching the world's greatest automobiles, I think you'll find the one that deserves to reside in your driveway will be one from Charles Barker Automotive. Possibly the best automotive value on earth. A Toyota, Lexus, Scion, or Infiniti from one of our dealerships gives you the security and the peace of mind that you've made the right choice. I am proud to put my name on them. Charles Barker Automotive, delivering great car buying and service experiences every day. Newport News and Virginia Beach. Don't miss Andy. October 12th and 13th at CNU's Ferguson Center for the Arts. Get tickets at all Ticketmaster outlets. Tonight, Moyog-based Blackwater USA is under fire once again. A congressional report released today says the private security firm is at fault in a 2004 convoy ambush in Fallujah. Four Blackwater operatives died in the ambush. It says Blackwater sent unprepared security guards into an insurgent stronghold. The new report comes at a time when the company is facing scrutiny for the September 16th incident in which contractors are accused of killing several Iraqi civilians. It could prove to be a vital tool in the war on terror. The Navy's military sea lift command today showed off a new ship that should go a long way towards supporting U.S. troops on the ground. 13 News military reporter Mike Gooding joins us now with more on that story. Well, Regina and David, soldiers and Marines on shore need fuel to operate their vehicles and equipment in combat. Now, a new ship called the MV Vice Admiral K.R. Wheeler should do that job in a big way. Now here was something you don't see out on the Chesapeake Bay every day, or for that matter, ever. It's the first of its kind platform for a new offshore petroleum distribution system. What makes this ship so unique is that eight miles of flexible pipe on the back of the boat. It can pump 1.7 million gallons of fluid in one 20 hour shift, making this the only ship in the world that can do that. The 349-foot-long MV Vice Admiral K.R. Wheeler is the product of Louisiana-based Edison Showest Offshore. She was built and is being leased to the Military Sea Lift Command for up to five years for $125.6 million. It's state-of-the-art. We got all kind of bells and whistles on here. A lot of the ships don't have, so it's, it's exciting. It's all about laying a lot of pipe fast and getting fuel from tankers to the troops on the ground more quickly from twice the distance away as before and with a lot less manpower. The ship also has 30 crew members. The old ships used to carry 200 crew. So as a result, the military seal of command is doing more with less. Better get a look at her quickly. The ship is in Hampton Roads for just several days of demonstrations and exercises with the military. In early October, she will leave for Guam. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News. Tonight, health officials say it's once again safe to harvest shellfish from the Pocosin River. Earlier this month, about 400,000 gallons of raw sewage was dumped into the Pocosin River. A utility worker accidentally punctured a sanitation pipe. Health officials then banned harvesting shellfish from the river, but officials say water samples came back clean, so the ban has been lifted. A reminder tonight from Newport News Police, lock your car doors. Officers say they've seen a spike in car break-ins this week. In several cases, keys have been left in car ignitions or on floorboards. Police say the thefts might have been prevented if the drivers simply locked their cars. From the 13 News Weather Lab, here's Chief Meteorologist Jeff Lawson. Well, it wasn't a nice soaking, at least not for the entire area, but we'll take anything we can get at this point. In terms of the rain, we are desperately in need of rain, almost 12 inches below normal so far for the year. And we had that a couple of different areas that got that, especially parts of Virginia Beach got it. Right now, we've been tracking some activity on the western side of the viewing area. It's almost completely gone. If we zoom in, you'll see right over central areas just uh, of Isle of Wight County, sort of north central areas around four square. That's all that is left of that tiny, tiny uh, shower. It was a relatively larger sized one earlier, but again, is completely diminishing now. We'll go back to the wide view and show you some of the southern locations that are still getting rain just out of the viewing area around Plymouth. That's heading north, so we have a little bit of rain in the outlook. Let's take a look at it, but not a lot. Just a few isolated showers tonight. The best chance will be in some of the more coastal locations, but I don't expect a whole lot this evening. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s by morning. Winds starting southeasterly and acting sh actually shifting to westerly by morning. So. 
The rest of the forecast then calls for more chances of rain, and that's from the western system. Notice what's been moving along the coastline is tending to move out to the east as we go through here the last several hours. That's why a little bit of this will still try to clip us, as I said, best chance near the coast. This is what we're looking forward to tomorrow, though. A little bit of wet weather out in the mountains tries to slide through. You can actually see that in the breakdown now every 15 minutes through the overnight period. Those isolated showers end that are near the coastline. Then tomorrow. Tomorrow, the front comes through as it does. Pretty good shot. We'll see a few isolated showers or maybe an isolated thunderstorm like we did today, trying to move through, especially the middle part of the day. Let's say early afternoon, the farther south you get, the longer that could last into late afternoon. But in general, middle sort of portion of the day for most of the metro area. By Saturday, the wind shifts, comes out of the north, and temperatures will remain quite fall like for Saturday and Sunday. 78 right now, south side. 80 degrees on the peninsula, winds out of the southeast, pretty light. So temperatures, once you get back away from the water, are a little warmer. They're still in the 80s. Tropics has been very active. Tropical storm Karen starting to slowly fall apart. Looks like yesterday it might have made it briefly up to hurricane status. 14.3 north, 48.5 west. That's over 2,300 miles from Hampton Roads with top winds now down to 60 miles per hour. Going to head harmlessly out east of the Lesser Antilles, miss all the land areas, maybe come back to the west a little and then perhaps Bermuda eventually, but certainly not any of the east coast. Here's Lorenzo, another storm. We talked about it yesterday. It was Tropical Depression 13. Now it is Lorenzo. 1,600 plus miles from Hampton Roads at 20.4 north, 95.9 west, drifting to the southwest toward the Mexican coastline and expected to do a little bit of damage, maybe with some heavy rains, but certainly no significant wind damage. Our forecast then, some isolated showers tonight, a few more isolated showers or a storm tomorrow, and then cooler and breezy Saturday, Sunday, and a pretty nice week next week, although we need the rain. We do. Thanks we so do. much, okay. Thanks, Jeff. All right, Scott Cash joining us now with a tech preview. That's right, Virginia Tech uh, at home this weekend. You know, they had a humbling loss in week two to LSU, but the Hokies have been taking their vitamins since then. By, by that, I mean a couple of breathers on the schedule to help them recover and rebuild their confidence. So they've got North Carolina coming to Blacksburg. The defense and special team looked especially good last week against William & Mary. So the Hokies are 14th or 17th, deciding on which poll you're looking at. The Tar Heels, Butch Davis came in with a good recruiting class. They're built for the future, which I mean by saying they're young. You get those young guys and they get better each and every week. Uh, Young guys uh, don't get down. You know, they kind of come back and uh, play uh, play hard the next week. Got a lot of young guys. You know, they're playing a lot of young guys right now. So, uh, I mean, you, you never know what they're going to bring to the table uh, every Saturday. So you, we know they're going to bring their A game, so we just got to be ready. UVA is at home with a non-conference game. Hosting Pittsburgh, the Panthers are 2-2. Two and two. UVA, there were a lot of complaints after that opening loss to Wyoming, but they've won three straight. A very impressive win last week against Georgia Tech. Yeah, they're feeling pretty good about themselves. The win certainly put the bounce in anybody's step. I know they put it in mine. Uh, but most particularly, the, I think the bounce comes from players and the confidence that they get from, from their own performance. Which means you play well, you feel good about yourself, and that's what UVA has going right now. When we come back, we'll take a look at the World Cup soccer for the United States women. And also, it's time for our picking our page of the week from our hsgametime.com website. I'm Amanda Orlando. I've always shopped at Value City. The deals are unbelievable. It's a really big home event. Save up to 90% off department store prices. Four-piece comforter sets, all sizes, just $12.99. Cotton bath towels, get two for $5. Luxury slipcover buyout, all sizes, $14.99. Six-foot folding tables, $29.99. Sony CD DVD players, $24.99. Hurry, our really big home event really ends Saturday. Value City. It's Cox Communications Half Price Sales Event. Now through this Saturday only. Get Cox High Speed Internet, Cox Digital Telephone, or Cox Digital Cable. Each half price for three months. The clock is ticking. Through this Saturday only, get any Cox product half price for three months, including free Fast Connect. Hurry, this offer ends Saturday. To order, call 757 609 3969. Operators are taking calls till 10 tonight. Every day, Dominion Lime & Walt Grooms helps brew over 6 million cups of coffee. 
wash 1.7 million loads of laundry, and record more than 3.6 million favorite shows. As Virginia's population and economy have grown in recent years, Dominion's grown right along with them, keeping rates stable and providing affordable, reliable electricity to nearly 6 million Virginians. Because what we do every day powers your every day. Dominion, it all starts here. It's got to be in here somewhere. Got a real storage problem? Call the real storage experts. Call Public Storage at 1-800-44-STORE to get your first month for just a dollar. We can solve almost any storage problem with large and small units, moving supplies, and truck rentals and more convenient locations than anyone else. Call 1-800-44-STORE or click to get your first month for just a buck at your nearby Public Storage. The real storage experts. Taxes, traffic, dandruff, You have plenty of worries. But your certified used Toyota isn't one of them. All these quality Toyotas now feature a three-month, 3,000-mile comprehensive warranty from front to back, top to bottom. And that's on top of our seven-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. See your Toyota dealer for great low financing on certified Toyotas. The best new cars make the best used cars. Toyota, moving forward. The best part of my day? Well, Tommy told Jimmy that he might like me. <laughs> Ryan. Uh, no homework? Lucky. What about you, Mom? Right now. Have you thought about a hobby? <laughs> <laughs> Come to KFC today and pick up a drumsticks and thighs bucket with 10 juicy pieces now for only $7.99. And let the bonding begin. KFC chicken has the same great taste with zero grams of trans fat per serving. This weekend at Value City Furniture, save over half on a great-looking microfiber video chair. Now just $29 during the fall sale at Value City Furniture. Real-time closed captioning of 13 News at 5, 5.30 and 6 is sponsored by Dodge. Grab life by the horns. Dodge. Every Thursday, we highlight a high school from our hsgametime.com website. And here's my weekly reminder that we're having a contest. At the end of the football season, we're going to pick the best high school site at hsgametime.com. And the winner will send a student representative to help me do a 6 o'clock sportscast live right here. We're both going to sit in the same seat. We're going to have a really big seat. This week, we're going to focus on the Grassfield Grizzlies. They've been going nuts on their website. Upload. Look, David, I told you we got our first band video. There's your Grassfield Grizzlies marching band. There's an interview with the cheerleader Ali Thomas. So, like I said, they've got stories, photos, and video. Oh, they're, they're up there. They're up in the running for that contest right now, I can tell you. So you set up your profile. You go to hsgametime.com, set up your profile, and then start uploading pictures and stories. That's what it's all about. All right, let's go. Women's World Cup semifinals. United States will not win their third World Cup title because they lost to Brazil this afternoon 4 nothing. Check out Marta, even the women that Brazil go by one name. What a move. Here comes another great move. 4 nothing. Brazil beat the United States. The President's Cup, round one. This is the United States against all the countries that don't play in the Ryder Cup. What a first day for the United States. Woody Austin saving half a point here on 18, teamed up with Phil Mickelson. The United States, after the first day, leads five and a half to a half. A tremendous start for them. We'll have highlights tonight at 11 in Norfolk State football game. Their game with North Carolina A&T, and this being Thursday night. Oh, yeah, Sports Spotlight. At 11. All right, thanks so much, Scott. And that is 13 News at 6 o'clock. You're up to date at this hour. Thanks for joining us. See you at 11. Good night. Get a suit that fits. Men's Warehouse has suits starting at only $200. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. Summer is over, but the savings are always here at Mattress Discounters, where a Sealy Queen set everyday low price is just $2.99. A Sealy Queen pillow top set is $3.99. Stearns and Foster sets start at only $9.99. Come visit our newly remodeled Hilltop location and get the everyday best price on tempur beds only at Mattress Discounters. Have a good night's sleep on us. Mattress Discounters. 30 years in the making, a legendary vehicle. 